Hi guys, um, so it is January 27th. I cannot believe that. The first month of the year is almost over. That is like so exciting but also so crazy. Like one month into 2019, I hope you guys have accomplished some mini goals you've set for yourself and if you haven't, that's okay. We're about to start a new month and you can conquer them in February. Um, so I'm making a video because I just got back from church and we watched some baptisms. Super emotional. Their stories were so amazing. And I was just, I just had this thought in church. Um, something that was like, I've always thought about and I just like kind of like had some thoughts and I just wanted to share them. So I've always like, before I fully understood well, I don't fully understand, let's be honest. No one fully understands everything. But now that I have a better understanding of um, God and I have a good relationship with him, better than I've ever had, I think that I can like talk about this. When I used to go to church, I would, I would really judge people um, because I don't think I was there for the right reasons and I didn't understand why I was there. Um, when people would sing during songs and like lift their hands and like really just really get emotional in the songs I just like I really thought they were just doing it for attention and I was just like can you stop doing that like that's just weird and now that I'm just really have a glimpse of like God's love for me and different things like that I think my perspective on that has definitely changed and I just want to like shed light on that to other people who maybe are not in a position of where I'm at or are like working on that but now that I understand God's love for me and I'm trying to worship God back and like give him love back I just like when I'm singing songs I get so emotional like because I just like feel it in my heart like God's love for me like God's grace like he is so good and I get emotional and like worshiping God is so important and worship isn't just singing songs um there are lots of other things that go with worship um and I can talk about that a different time but worship is what singing is one part of it and praising him and like I think that it is important to put your hands up and and you know sing extra loud and and get emotional you know if you want to get on your knees get on your knees and if you want to you know sing extra loud sing extra loud but like I don't think when people raise their hands or um lift their heads or like anything like that like that isn't trying to get attention if you're looking at them judging them like I think it's a you problem not a them problem they're focused on their relationship with God and they are worshiping and praising him because he is he's a good good father and he, they just are trying to show, express to him how, how much they love him and how thankful they are for him. And it's, you need to turn back to yourself and say, why, why am I not understanding his love? Like, where is that peace not connecting for you? And for a long time, that was me. Like, I, I think I was judging them because I was envious of why, why I wasn't feeling that way. And now that I do, it's just so cool to get that emotional and really just be like, oh, like, I just get so happy. Like, I just know I have a big smile on my face when I'm singing. And I know that I can't sing, but I don't care. God gave me this voice. I'm going to use it, you know? Um, it's just, like, really cool. And I think um, now, like, there was, like, a little in-between time when I would... I'd kind of want to like raise my hand and I would just be the fear of judgment from other people because I wasn't truly realizing it it's not about them it's about me and it's about my relationship with God and how good he is so now I don't care like because I'm doing it for God because he is so good so that was like really cool too so now I'm like my hands are I'm like getting into the song I'm like God you are so good like I can't even do enough to make you understand how good you are and it's just like really cool but I just wanted to like talk about that and um our message this morning was really cool it was about faith over fear 
and um, are you being courageous and and not worried about what other people think and just stepping out in faith and doing what God has called you to do and um, one thing is people are f afraid of failure and and one thing that really resonated with me this morning was if you're stepping out in faith um, you already have you already are succeeding because you're doing you're walking with Jesus and you're doing what he wants you to do so even if you don't succeed um, you've already succeeded in God's eyes because you're doing what he's called you to do so maybe there's not an earthly success but there's a godly success and that's just like really cool to think about um, you um, you can fail a million times but a million times can lead to one success and that's like the really cool thing about it so just don't let um, like family or insecurities or um, the thought of fear like get the best of you because the enemy is always gonna always gonna want to keep you from doing what God's called you to do so just be courageous and and um, go out and do what God's called called upon your, your life and your purpose I always say the thing that I have courage tattooed on my foot um, I've always loved that word. I think courage is like something super important to live with in your life. And um, I've always lived by the saying 10 seconds of courage. It only takes 10 seconds of courage. So just tell yourself, I only need 10 seconds. Just give yourself 10 seconds and just do that thing you're scared to do. It could change your life. And um, it, it's always deemed to be true. So take that, run with it. And uh, yeah, it's Sunday. And my classes start tomorrow. I am not prepared, but I know God's got me and I'm going to be okay. I'm really excited. This is my last semester of school and I'm just really excited to take it on and conquer it. And um, I'm going to meet with Matt this week. That was something else like I'm just like really struggling with, you know, I know that God wants me to go into ministry, but like timing, that's the vision he has, but when that vision is going to come to pass is like what I'm really struggling with because I'm really happy at this internship but I also know I don't want to do that the rest of my life so it's just like God I really need some guidance here and so when he was talking about faith and like just having faith this morning like I was like well preach it to me Matt like this is really what I need to hear and then he came up to me afterwards and he's like so are we going to meet we're we going to meet this week and talk about you joining staff and I was just like, I just wanted to start crying right then and there because I was like, like I'm getting emotional right now. Because I was like, wow, I really needed to hear that. Like, yes. Like, I know that this is what God wants for me. And it's just like, I needed to hear that. And it's just so crazy and cool how God works. And it was just, it was unbelievable. I can't even, just like, things like that, like, it's a matter of believing, not seeing, and just having faith that God will work in your life. And like something else I'm struggling with, because I just love to be honest and talk, but it's just, I just really like this guy. And I'm just like, I don't want him to be an idol in my life. And I feel like it's becoming that because I, I pray about him all the time. And I, it's not even that I'm praying for him to be in my life. I want the best for him. But it's just like, I still have desires for him and I want him in my life and I'm just like why can't I not stop thinking about him and I like I know that if he's meant to be it will come to pass and it's just like really hard to let go of and just live in the moment because I am so content with my life and I'm just so happy but it's still like he's a constant thought so like that's something I'm really struggling with right now too but like little things like this morning just like give me that like reassurance that it's gonna be okay and God's got me and I just need to like rest in that so I'm just gonna keep rolling with the ball I'm gonna have a really busy semester so I'm hoping I'm not trying to like forget things with busyness but like I'm hoping the busyness helps me like realize I don't need to like dwell and like constantly think about these things excuse me but um yeah just like that was just so cool it really was because like I know and like he brought up like the trip we went on to IU um and it just like reminded me like how much I loved that experience and like I just want to live that out every single day and I know like not everything that I do in ministry is going to be like happy-go-lucky and but like it's still like so much better than sitting at a desk like 
I don't know. It's just, like, exciting. I'm excited to talk to him about it, so, yeah. All right, that's all I got. I just wanted to share that. Um, but the guy that I like, I don't know if I should say this on camera or not, but the day, I'll just say this. The day he was born on, um, that number keeps popping up everywhere, and it's really, really weird. So, like, coincidence? I don't know, but maybe I'm also looking for it. I don't know. But, okay, I'm done. Done talking. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys have a great week. Um, just stay positive. Be positive in other people's lives. It's crazy. Smile. If you smile, it literally changes other people's attitudes. I'm not kidding you. I I smile all the time, and people love that. People love that about me. And I used to not do that, and it's just, like, crazy the difference it makes. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a great week, and don't let, like, a little setback be a setback for your life. Just, just come back and kick it in the ass and just keep rolling, you know? Don't let one little punch knock you down, okay? Hope you guys have a great week. Stay happy. Stay warm. See ya.